welcome to this week's edition of The Gun Doctor. Richard Mann wrote a great article in Shooting Illustrated on how to store bulk ammunition. He says, first off, don't store ammunition at ground level. Recently in a police department, a flash flood hit, and the water was a foot deep in the armory for more than 24 hours. Because of that, they lost large quantities of high-end federal ammunition. Number two, store ammunition inside where the climate is controlled. In a building which has no climate control, even though ammunition is boxed, in as little as 30 days, the brass cases will start to show signs of corrosion. This external corrosion will likely not keep the ammunition from going bang, but it can hinder the reliability of the ammo, especially in semi-automatic firearms. Ammunition stored inside where the humidity never climbs higher than 70% will go for years without showing any signs of external corrosion. Number three, mark every box of ammunition with the date of purchase. When you purchase ammunition in bulk and put it away for storage, it may live there for a long time. Obviously, the case and individual boxes are marked with cartridge and bullet style, but they are also marked with a lot number. The lot number is significant to the manufacturer in that it identifies the date of manufacture and the exact components used. Though it might be too slight for you to notice, there is always a ballistic difference between lot numbers. Since end users cannot glean any of this information from lot numbers, more important to you is the date of purchase. Every year, if you purchase two cases of the same ammo, five years from now, how will you know how old each box is? Number four. Buying cheap ammo in bulk, especially in a shortage, may sound like a good idea, but before you buy in bulk, make sure the ammo you are buying is compatible with the gun which you are buying it for. If 20 or 30% of the ammo fails, you've wasted your money. Number five, if you're buying a serious gun, make a serious ammo purchase with it. During the first few months of the pandemic and civil unrest, along with ammo shortages, those with a reasonably large and varied collection of firearms Fail to have an adequate supply of ammo. Be sure to stock up on what you'll need to feed your serious firearms in serious times. To recap, you should store your ammunition somewhere that is cool and dry. You want to protect your ammunition from high heat, which can cause the propellant to break down. You want to avoid large temperature swings that can invite humidity and always avoid storage locations where the humidity is naturally high because humidity initiates external corrosion. Finally, and obviously, you want to keep your ammunition dry. Avoid storing ammo any place where water might reach it. Metal ammunition cans are popular for all these reasons. Have you ever wondered why there are stacks of metal ammo cans at gun shows? Well, they sell them by the stacks because smart folks buy them to store their ammunition. Another item popular for long-term ammo storage are those little silica gel packs. They're affordable, absorb moisture, and take up little room inside an ammo can. A good place to find ammo cans, ammo, new and used firearms, is Smoke and Gun Works. Smoke and Gun Works, a great place to Christmas shop. And if you're not sure what to buy that gun enthusiast, try a gift card from Smoke and Gun Works. Smoke and Gun Works, 8785 North Baileyville Road, Forreston, Illinois. For the Gun Doctor, I'm Tim Bills.